React Server Components are a game changer feature introduced in React 19. RSCs, that is React Server Components, have the potential to transform how we build the React web applications. Traditionally, React applications have relied on the client-side rendering of components. But React should change this with a revolutionary feature called React Server Components that could directly render UI content on the server. The concept of server-side rendering for components is not new. Frameworks like Next.js have made significant progress, making it the default behavior for all components and improving the performance. So now let's explore the React approach to server-side rendering called React Server Components in React 19. By pre-rendering components on the server, React Server Components can significantly improve initial page load times. By rendering components on the server, search engines can more easily index and understand the content of pages. This will improve initial page load time and SEO as well. Server components can directly fetch data during the rendering process on the server, potentially simplifying the data management logic. Let's discuss how React Server Component works. First, we need to define server components using the use server component hook, which is syntactically similar to the use state hook, but specifically for the server side rendering. And inside the server component, we can use data fetching mechanisms like fetch to retrieve the data using the APIs. The server side rendering process executes the server component's code, including any data fetching and produces the final HTML markup. If the rendered content involves interactive elements like clicks and actions, React might perform some adjustment at client side to make it fully interactive. We can also understand this process by a simple example. Let's create a simple component that displays a welcome message with the current date retrieved from the server. As discussed first, we import user server component from React. This hook allows us to define server side rendering logic within the component. And inside the hook, we use an arrow function to simulate fetching data from the server. In a real application, we have to use the fetch or other methods to retrieve data from an API. Here, we are just creating a date string. The hook returns the fetched data which is stored in the date state variable. This variable is only accessible within the server-side rendering context. And at last, we render an h1 element displaying the welcome message and the retrieved date. The main benefit of this feature is the component renders the welcome message with the date directly on the server. This means the browser doesn't need to wait for JavaScript to execute before displaying the content, leading to a faster perceived load time. We can directly fetch data within the server component, simplifying the code compared to traditional data fetching using use effect on the client, and in that case, the code will look like this. Remember, server components are ideal for situations where we need to render static or server-generated content initially. Complex interactive UIs still benefit from traditional client-side components. Since React server components are still under development, it may cover up in next updates, so keep an eye on React's official site for updates on their final structure. In summary, React server components offer a powerful way to improve initial load performance, SEO and data management for specific use cases.